welcome to my channel. Today I decided to do the furry friend tag. I know this one is super like old. It's an old tag, but I thought it'd be super fun because I love my dog and who doesn't love to talk about their dog and listen to other people's stories about their dogs. So to start out, I am bribing her to be here. I have cut up cheese stick. So this is Emily and she is a white shepherd husky mix or so we think. Um, we haven't, I'd love to do the DNA test, but they're kind of expensive. We'll see sometime in her life. We'll probably get it. Um, and I adopted her from a local rescue. Um, it's called the rescue crew. I got her eight years ago, almost exactly in August. It'll be eight years ago. So she is about 10 years old and she's doing really well. She does not look it at all. I'm so happy that she's doing so well. Okay, some quirky things about my pet. <gasps> so many. She is neurotic. I think the husky in her just makes her crazy. And I love her so much. Um, but some like specific quirky things. She does not like basement steps. If you can see through the steps, she will not use them. We are terrified. We are scared of like hardwood floors because we slide on them and so there are certain places we will refuse we replaced the carpeting in our entryway with just like a tile and she came running down the stairs slid and then refused to walk across it anymore <laughs> we had to put rugs down for her so those are a couple quirky things about her we hate fireworks we hate thunder um <laughs> What does the, my relationship with her mean? It means everything. She has kind of been my therapy pet. Um, I had really bad anxiety and depression, but she, it was perfect. I, if I was feeling overwhelmed with life or school or anything, I'd just be like, let's go for a W-A-L-K. I don't want to say it because she'll freak out. Um, we just go walk it off and yeah, so she means so much to me. She's been a constant support and, you know, I really, it gives me someone to take care of. It gives me a purpose, you know, when sometimes you feel like you have no purpose. She means so much to me. And what are the nicknames you call your pet? So many things. Do you want another piece of cheese? Yeah. So I call her Eminem, Puppy, Mkins, she's got is kind of anything. If you say it happy enough, she'll come to it. So that's yeah. Those are the main ones. I still call her puppy. She's my puppy. <laughs> She'll be my puppy forever. And how long have you had your pet? I said that about eight years. Long time. Does your pet any know, know any tricks? She does actually. Let's see if we can do this one. Emily, tap, tap. Girl. She knows tap, she knows the basic, sit down, say, um, she knows some agility, she doesn't like to do agility, it wears her out, but she knows it. <laughs> what is my pet's favorite toy? She loves stuffy toys. That's pretty much it. Stuffed toys, we like to make just a tiny little hole, and then we'll use our tooth to hook the stuffing out and pull it all out through that hole. Yeah. So... <laughs> That is by far her favorite. Okay, there is some thunder, and so I don't know how long she's going to stay with me, but it's not raining, so we're going to stay outside a little bit longer. Okay, has your pet destroyed anything? Really? Not so much. Um, when she was, we first got her when she was two, so still kind of puppy. She chewed up like one of those foam paintbrushes, but really she's not destroyed anything she wasn't supposed to otherwise. She's very good about knowing what her toys are, which makes me very happy. <laughs> um, how would your pet react to an intruder in your house? She'd bark at them, like we bark at everything. If they're wearing a mailman uniform, like she will go after them, but otherwise she'd just be like, hey, pet me, hi. <laughs> she would not protect me. <laughs> um, what's your pet's favorite treat? Cheese. By far her favorite. If you make something with cheese, she will be right there with you. Can your pet swim? K. 
Can you swim? We can swim. We don't like to swim. We don't. We were at Gooseberry Falls once and she stepped off kind of a flatter surface where it went into kind of a pool area. I got a little bit deeper. She went down, did not come back up. Scariest moment of our life. Hey, come here. Come here, I give you treats. Come sit. Thank you. Um, <laughs> when we had our old dog too, uh, she was a lab and she loved to swim. Emily tried to get on top of her. She was like, save me. I don't like this. <sighs> so she can swim. She doesn't like to swim. Do you crate your pet? We do not crate her. When she was a lot younger, we did kennel her at night. But then one night I just forgot to close it. And I got up in the middle of the night, just happened to get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And she followed me out. I was like, what? <laughs> um, so from there, we kind of knew like she didn't really need to be kenneled. She loved her kennel though. It was her safe spot. But we are very good. We don't have accidents in the house unless we're having an icky tummy. We don't chew things up, so we get free reign. Free reign of the house. It's awesome. What is one negative thing about your pet? Um, She'll run. Um, it's not as bad as when she was younger. When we first got her, if you had the door open, she would try to get out and run away. Now, she's usually pretty good, but the other day, I would, I'll let her off leash, or I used to let her off leash at the end of walks. And she'd just run to the house, or I'd make her walk next to me. Just kind of good off-leash training and we saw a bunny and we ran and it took about 45 minutes to get her back so that's probably like the only negative thing I can think of and that's just a husky thing like I know that about her breed and does your pet sleep in bed with you she will now that I have a bigger bed she will sleep at the foot of my bed not necessarily all night sometimes she likes the floor better but she was super funny. I always wanted her to sleep in my bed, but in a twin bed, she'd start on my bed. But the moment I moved anything, if I bumped her with my foot, she'd be like, ugh, she'd get up and leave. <laughs> so she does not like to be bothered at night. <laughs> what does your pet love most? Probably food and treats, honestly. It's her favorite thing. We love walks. I know, I'm afraid if I, I'm afraid by saying that she's gonna freak out, but I think we're focused. We're focused. Does your pet have any four-legged BFFs? Um, you know, she, we've got a couple people who she'll play with. A long time ago, we had a big black, I don't know what kind he was. He was like a water dog. And like, big black curly hair. We love Dexter. We've got our friend Tucker, my friend... Lauren has a bulldog, so we'll go hang out with them. They don't really like play, play. Hey, come here. I got treats. <sighs> Sit. Sometimes she'll play with my grandma's dog. He's little. Um, he looks like the, do the, the dog from Despicable Me. He's like a little monster. Um, and then we had another dog friend who's a poodle. I d house it, pet sit for them, and she'd come and hang out, but she got really tired by him really quick. Um, do you dress your pet up? <laughs> no, she does not like that at all. Here she is again. We keep moving. We do not like to be dressed up. I used to put her in a harness when she was younger just to, so she couldn't slip out of it. We hated that. It was humiliating to us, but my mom and sibling, when I went away to school for a year, they dressed her up for a costume party at the dog park, and that was it. That's something she loves. We love the dog park. We don't even have to go to play with the dogs. We go to sniff their butts and to go sniff everything there. That's all we really care about now that we're old. Playing is kind of like, eh. <laughs> um, the last question, if you could get another pet, what would it be? I don't know, like another dog as far as breeds, I love shepherds. I don't know if I'd do a husky again because we're neurotic. We're just super neurotic. I don't know if I'd want to do that again. But like a bully breed, something bigger. I like bigger dogs for sure. Love, love, love. Um, that's about it. I guess some other things, this wasn't on it, but like some of the medical stuff, we are definitely getting a little bit more expensive as we get older. 
last year last year was a rough year and we are shedding everywhere last year we started out the year with clogged anal glands and she has some dermatitis on her face so she's got little scabs where her canines rub and so we started out the year with that uh she had a mass on her anal gland come here sit thank you right, let's see if we can do another trick can you shake thank you <sighs> And that was terrifying, but it went away with antibiotics, so it didn't end up being a tumor. Then she got a UTI last year. Yeah, we were, we were having accidents in the house, and we thought it was because she was afraid to go outside. Because she was being weird about, like, fireworks and stuff. Um, and now we have our dermatitis again, and she's got an allergy. That's another super interesting thing. She is allergic to chihuahuas. We had a foster dog who was a chihuahua, one-eyed chihuahua, so cute. And she was so, like, if you touched her, she would just, like, contort and, like, clearly did not like it. So it turns out we're allergic to chihuahuas. We probably have some other sensitivities. Um, I took her to the vet yesterday because we have a yeast infection in our ear. So we're doing medication twice a day and cleaning it out once a day now for the next couple weeks. Um, and then it was, like, Six years ago now, I think. Just the memory just popped up on Facebook. She was outside, she screamed, ran in the house. She had a gash. It's like, maybe I'll put in a picture. It's kind of gross. Um, she had this giant gash. We don't even know what she did, but we think she just hit it on something and her skin just split. It was bad. But otherwise, we have been such a good dog, and I'm so hopeful that we're gonna live a long, long time, right? Should we show some more tricks for the end of this? You wanna do shake again? Okay, thank you. Alright, go down. Okay, we got one more treat. We want to show. Can we do gopher? Okay, gopher. There we go. It's hard to see that one. <gasps> My sibling taught her gopher. She can't do it like unassisted, but she'll wrap her paws around and go up under her back. It's adorable. I hope you enjoyed this. I love that.